Hey, what is going on you crazy crew daily? Today I'm coming at you with one of my old favorites that has gotten some new buffs with the last two sets. Um, I think it's finally hit a point where it's uh, in contention for being like maybe a competitive deck again. It wasn't before, uh, but it was a ton of fun and actually had some pretty good matchups against some of the top decks in the format. And that is the Nuzzle Raichu deck. Um, we've got Quick Ball, we've got Speed Energy now. And we've got the Bolton to hit really hard, harder than we could hit with the Reshiram that we had in here before. Um, allowing us to take those big one shots that we weren't quite able to with the Reshiram. And now we can with the Bolton with that Bolt Storm. Um, so the deck has got a lot of buffs in those cards. Um, I've added a boss's orders in here. Um, and then the rest of the list is very similar to what I was playing around with um, a while ago. Um, we still got the reset stamp, you know, four Rosa, four Bills Analysis, four Volkner for our supporters. Just trying to get those specific cards each turn to pull off our combos, whether it be the Bolton combo, getting some extra E powers, whatever it might be. These guys search out exactly what we need on the turn when we need it. Um, and yeah, that's the list. I don't have much else to say about it. It got some buffs. It's been feeling really good. I'm on a pretty big win streak with it. Now let's see if we can't uh, continue that. Okay, lost the coin flip here initially in this one, this first one here um not that big of a deal the triple emulgus are and we got the speed energy i'm gonna open the uh pachirisu here uh just in case our opponent plays something like absol or something um the emulgus i guess we can throw them down throw down two of them anyways pass over to our opponent it looks like they got a mulligan all right that's good to see get ourselves another extra card to work with and we'll see what they're playing around looks like a pikaram deck almost certainly a pikaram deck all right so in this kind of matchup we do kind of want to get three Pikachu into play. Um, but we can also just use Bolton really early on, actually, um, and be just fine with that. I'm going to go ahead and bench this Pikachu. Uh, yeah, because we could go the triple Pikachu route here early on. Uh, and we can just go to Bolton early on as well. And we got that Coco Prism. We have so much stuff to work with in this one. It's kind of insane. But yeah, we want triple Pikachu because if they go full Blitz this next turn, you know, knock out Patrizio and then tag ball two Pikachus. Or like full blitz knockout of Pikachu and then tag ball to Pikachu. So I guess they would need a lot of gust effects in a row. It's unlikely they could pull off that combo, but if we just go triple Pikachu, they can't even think about doing that anyway. So um, that's definitely the ideal way to to put out our Pokemon. And then we could just go to Bolton to turn two and one shot this almost, I think. I think we're almost there. Um We'd have Coco Prism. So that means when we Volkner um this turn, we'd want to get a lightning for this guy. So we get access to that lightning again. Could get an E-power, the next turn Rosa, this turn after. Probably could pull off the uh, turn to electrify. Um, oh, I shouldn't have benched the Pikachu. Now they could gust up my Pikachu and make it so I can't snuggly generator. Here comes the catcher. All right, it is a Tails. That's super good for us. I definitely made a mistake by benching that. I completely forgot that they can now gust it and make it so I can't even do my do my thing on the next turn. All right, here we go. Snuggly or Nuzzly Gathering. Going to get a Pikachu. Let's check the rest of the stuff. How many lightning are in here? There's 12 in there. If we do want to go back to back, I'm thinking if we want to go back to back... Um, Active back snuggly generators, which we might want to do. Um, grab this guy. All right. And I am going to Vulcan here because I think I want the lightning in the discard pile so we can potentially Coco early on. So we're going to go like this. We're going to grab the E power and a lightning. And then, yeah, put three Pikachus down just so they can't go Gus knock out Pikachu. I mean, I guess we'd have the other bench base to work with anyway. Well, we don't want to put them all down. No, this is correct. This is correct. Yeah. And then we're going to go like this. Snuggly Generator, grab five. And yeah, the reason we use the basic energy once again is we have that Cocoa Prism. Um, so we potentially want to be able to use that as soon as possible uh, to get extra energy in play. Uh, we'll see. We might not use it. We might use it. We'll see. Our opponent might actually even just whiff this uh, turn two full blitz here. They didn't even get an energy attachment on that turn one. There's the Cocoa Prism, though. That's going to help them out quite a bit. Now they're just missing, what, some energy in the discard pile? They don't have that yet. Um, and then they need um, some E switches or something. No Thunder Mountain also works. There's a scoop up net that can get them some more stuff. Um, what else they got going on? Nothing really. Now yeah, we'll see what they get here. Interesting that they play Cherish Ball. You usually don't see that in Pika Roms very much anymore. They're usually playing Quick Balls and Electromagnetic Radars. There's really no reason to play the Cherish Ball as far as I know. I don't know what you could find that you want to just be able to E Radar for. So they maybe have something interesting in there. Uh, that we're gonna have to look out for um because yeah there's really no reason to play cherish ball anymore that i can think of over e radars you want to have more outs to discard the lightning energy more aggressively finding two pokemon is generally better than one especially when they're all the same um so they might have something interesting in there for sure here's that to dead i grab they're gonna dig for this uh turn one full blitz here and then we're gonna see if we can get the response with just that 
um bolt storm we might be able to actually yeah we might be able to we're doing two three four five six seven uh plus an e-power plus another e-power well actually we're like an e-power short here actually i think yeah we're an e-power short in this situation i think um we get eight yeah well we could go no we can't get quite get the energy we'll see what we top tech as well our top tech could make a big difference as well because we could possibly get a quick ball off rosa with the basic energy get two lightning off the dance angels but we also need to make sure we can actually move an energy over to the bolton um with uh i guess we we need thunder mountain we also or the east switch we need thunder mountain or east switch because we can't go prism to the bolton because we don't have enough bench space to to work with to pull that off um see our top deck could uh, tell us a lot if it's just kind of if they don't really kind of do anything here we can just go ahead and bills analysis plus snuggly generator again and then we're in a ridiculously good spot to deal with these big jigs we're gonna have so much energy in play it really won't matter what our opponent does at that point um yeah we'll be we'll be cruising at that point i'll be feeling real good about a situation i'll probably even save the speed energy um and yeah, there's the scoop from our opponent uh i don't blame them they whiff the turn two full blitz if we get that turn two stunk generator without them even getting a full blitz off the game does pretty much end at that point so i actually don't really blame them for scooping there and uh yeah let's keep it keep it up let's get into another one okay we are into another one here we did lose this coin flip our opponent will be going first we did open the amalga though which is oh so important to open with here and uh yeah see where it goes it looks like they're playing a malamar deck we'll see what kind of malamar they play reset stamp and air balloon so it's probably mewtwo malamar which we have a way better shot of beating than normal malamar there's a patch of risu don't need to bench him but i will actually our opponent's not gonna be able to do anything to us certain one i don't think there's a kramer so i have to deal with that guy as well but he's weak to lightning which means we can kind of take some easy prize cards off him and there's a giratina there's a comp i actually have no idea what there's a trevnor okay it is like a mewtwo malamar i was like i was starting to get really lost there um it's pretty enforced we like to take advantage of that when we can yeah i was getting really lost there on what what our opponent was playing here all right there's a marnie there's a trevnor i get it now i get it all right um let's uh do some nuzzly not that guy need this guy getting a Molga. gonna get another one um put them down get ourselves a pikachu now mm -hmm. and then we're trying to build analysis into a quick ball so we can get another one out there perfect we already have a rosa and a bills in hand probably just take this thunder mountain or the other quick ball actually let's take the other quick ball uh quick ball away lightning Get another Pikachu. Want to get maximum uh, value out of this Snuggly Generator here. Treat, attach, Snuggly Generator. Only have four, or only have eight energy, eight basics in the deck. Because we do have those speed and energy that take up quite a few slots of our energy slots. Um, we can still uh, Snuggly Generator again for three, and then we could Coco Prism afterwards, which is probably what we're going to do um, to get more energy and play with the Coco Prism. And then hopefully by then we have enough built up. Um, actually, they're going to take some cards away from us, though, aren't they? Yeah, we could actually be in trouble here. I mean, they can't get rid of our whole hand, I guess. We need to start building up our hand, so it's going to be harder and harder for them. Hopefully, they... I mean, for us, I think we hope that they whiff the attack here. Um, yeah, just don't get the attack off here. Give us, like, one more turn to work with our hand. Bill's analysis. Uh, Nuzzle Gathering. Um, and then go from there. Um, and when we Nuzzle Gathering here, we're actually going to hold all the cards because we can always get them back. So we just want to decrease the chance of Trevnor actually hitting anything important. So um, we're hoping they whiff the attack, this turn to attack here. Give us one more turn to work with, build up our board a little bit more. Um, yeah, like I said, Nuzzly Gathering three times. We're gonna hold all the cards we get. Not gonna evolve any of the right shoes. Just gonna grab an extra patch of Rizu to have in the hand. Chill, um, and then go from there. Here comes another quick ball from our opponent. There's the dead change. So they're digging a little bit here to try and find that switch card i think it's the only thing they're really missing here is that switch card they haven't used viridian forest yet i don't think um but there's an attachment from hand there's a switch so they did get it they do get the knockout here on our pachirisu uh which is unfortunate um but can't really do anything about it just gonna have to let it go got our lightning our quick ball that's fine don't really need those i well, we do kind of want the lightning actually i kind of take that back yeah i take that back um, there's a quick ball top deck. I'm gonna go ahead and Rosa here. Grab ourselves the Coco Prism. A lightning 
And maybe the Thunder Mountain. Actually, could we go one, two, three, four, five? Um, grab this or one, two, three, four, five. That gets Coco instead. And we grab this and the Bolton. One, two, three, four, five, uh, six, seven, eight. Oh, we'd be 30 damage short. That's unfortunate. Yeah, we would be 30 damage short, I believe, unless I'm miscounting here. I don't think I am. Um, yeah, we'd be 30 damage short, so that doesn't work. Um, do we want to go with the Pachirisu this turn instead? Could go... Leave this in the deck. Uh, no, we should probably take it out. Take it out. And... Just grab these, grab these, grab these, grab these. I was like losing, I wasn't sure. I was like, eh, it seems good enough. Nuzzle, nuzzle Gathering, Pachirisu. Nuzzle Gathering. And once again, like I said, we're just going to leave these Raichus in the hand. Because we can always just get them back next turn with the Nuzzle Gathering. But we want to decrease the chance of our opponent actually taking away our supporters. We want to leave those, we want to have those supporters around on the next turn. Throw this down, throw this down. Going to retreat and then... Uh, snuggly generator get those last three out of the deck one two three guys don't lose any energy and play on this um, so we're swinging for not quite enough still we can get up to, we can get the cocoa prism with the quick ball uh, get two more into play and we'd be hitting for ooh, 220 so double e power off bills analysis e switch off bills analysis would do it as well that's kind of unlikely to hit I was hoping the Thunder Mountain would stick around for a turn so we could get the knockout with Bolton on the next turn does not look like that's going to happen, or do, it doesn't happen here as they replace our Thunder Mountain with that Viridian Forest. So, uh, yeah, I don't know where we go from here. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Um, if I get the E-Switch off this, boom, we can attack with Bolton. If not, we're probably looking at two-shotting Dusknor, or we could just boss's order, knock out Cramorant for the turn, and then look to one-shot this on the next turn. We could even bench the Bolton with an energy, boss's order the Cramorant, knockout we could do that i like that if boss's order sticks around i mean we'll see what they get off of the night watch hopefully it's a right you hopefully it's both right shoes but um yeah probably not going to be both right shoes we'll see what else they could also do some kind of other kind of play here as well we'll see here comes the distortion door they may be plan on going into the garretina i doubt they play spell tags um it seems to be more of a uh, gx focused build like the Trevnor focus build because they do have like the Marnies and stuff. Um, but we'll see. They maybe do have more focus on what's it called than I think on the spell tags and stuff, which is the kind of build that we don't beat. And one of the reasons that uh, Nuzzle wasn't good for a long time was because of this matchup. There's the hardwood treats uh, just into the Giratina. And then here comes a Psychic Recharge uh, setting up the Cramorant. We're definitely just going to go chase the Cramorant. We don't want him to knock out our dudes with two energies on them. Um, so we're just going to go knock out Cramorant here. Yeah, we're just going to go knock out the Cram. Um, evolve. Once again, just build up the hand with the Nuzzy Gathering. Not going to play any of them down. Not going to evolve to that Raichu. Just want this hand to be as full as possible with as many uh, dudes as it can be. We are running out of energy at this point, though. That is one thing I have to take note of here. We are running out. We, we haven't found any of our speed energy yet. Um, boss's orders. We're going to get two prize cards to work with here as well, though, on this powerful spark. Powerful spark. Knock out the Cramorant. Two prize cards. Sounds good to me. Hopefully, we get some good stuff. Energy switch is very good. Speed energy is also super good. Okay, that sets us up for the Bolton combo, actually, out of the hand right now. As long as our opponent doesn't take those cards away from us. Um, yeah, it sets us up for that combo on the next turn. We'll see what they've got here. Um, here, they don't have... I mean, they can go like double psychic recharge here and then retreat the Dedenne. Almost certainly, they'll be able to get an energy off of the Verdian Force. Yeah, Dedenne comes to the active. Um, so they pl probably plan on attacking with the Garatina. I mean, they could have like a, a air balloon in their hand or something to put on the Dedenne as well. Um, yeah, we'll see here. We'll see. Two, three. They didn't play supported last turn, I believe. So I would assume their hand is currently dead. Yeah, there's that attach. We'll see recharge, recharge to the Giratina with the Distortion Door. They'll attack with that. And then we'll knock that out with a Raichu. Look to set up another Raichu probably. Yeah. And yeah, we'll just kind of go from there. Bill's analysis on the turn as well. Here it comes. Here's the Giratina. Knock out our Raichu. Goodbye, Raichu. 
And we're looking for that great catcher at some point to bring up this. Or if we knock out another Garatina, then bring up the Dedene. Yeah, that's our, our game plan here. All right, go. Go, Pikachu. Pikachu goes there. All right, Nuzzle Gathering. There's nothing to grab, right? Just wanted to make sure. All right, cool. Uh, Pikachu goes down. Speed energy first. Okay, Bill's analysis next. Let me get that great catcher. And probably a Volkner here. Now we have one of each supporter, so we have options going into the next turn. Uh, evolve the active. Once again, not going to evolve anyone else. We can get him when we need to. Um, powerful spark for the knockout. And we're a speed energy away from just knocking out the Trevnor with the Bolton. Um, we could also just wait, though. We don't have to do it this turn. We could wait until uh, Bench Space frees up. And then we can go Coco Prism over to Bolton, E switch over to Bolton. And then go like that. Or if we top like a speed energy, should be good to go as well and knock out the uh, the Trevnor. So yeah, we're in a really good spot here. I'm I'm feeling really good about this one all of a sudden. Um, a little bit scary at the start, but they didn't get the full Marnie Trevnor combo. They played like that research into research, and then their hand kind of bricked up from there. They haven't had um, as many options as they would like from there, and it's been looking pretty good from us since then. There goes a quick ball for Inke. Get rid of Inke. There's an energy. Uh, they can't retreat and attack this turn. Though. They don't have enough energy set up in play. So not in a good spot here from our opponent at all. Here comes another distortion door to, I mean, probably our Amalgus. It doesn't really matter because they don't have spell tag damage to go with it. So it doesn't really matter where they distortion door here. It's like we charge you. We have 100. We're doing 160 damage right now. So not quite enough to knock this guy out. We're not knocking out the big, um, the big bad Trevnor yet. So like recharge, attach. Can't attack with it though. It looks like they're just gonna sacrifice it. All right, draw. Air balloon I am gonna put down to have the flexibility of a retreater. Bills analysis once again to just build up more options in the hand. Just gonna take e-power bills analysis. And now we're looking for how much? 160, 220. Great catcher, not quite enough. All right, powerful spark, knock out the uh, Giratina. We could have great catcher knocked out to Dene this turn, I guess. Um, yeah, we could have great catcher knocked out today this turn. Then they wouldn't be able to send up to him, but then they have to send up the Trevnor, so we'd have to deal with that then. So I'd rather just knock out this and then great catcher the next turn. Think I'm actually not sure. There's a concede, not surprised that middle that mid game was super bad for our opponent there. So uh, we'll take that dub. Okay, we won the coin, the coin flip in uh, one final game here. We got the Amolga start, so that's perfect. No energy to work with yet, but uh, we do play a lot, so hopefully we top deck one uh, or two here. In the next turn there we go that was the gathering got to get the amolga looks like we're up against the baby blounds which is generally a pretty good matchup um that was the gathering once again another amolga um and then we're gonna go ahead and grab ourselves a pikachu um actually we're gonna get the pachirisu because we want to be able to attach this turn right now and i wouldn't want to attach a pikachu i don't think this guy can get knocked out by blazer oof I don't want to retreat to Pachirisu and Attacho because then they could fire while Circus knock it out. Uh, I think we just hope they don't get the Blazer here. Yeah, I'm just going to go attach to this and pass. We know that reset stamp that's super important in this matchup at the end of the game. That's how we kind of make our comeback. Um, if we're behind in the prize exchange, which we usually are behind in the prize exchange by a prize or two, um, we got to use that reset stamp to kind of stop them out of that and then... Um, Look to maybe take a knockout on one of the two prize Pokemon that they maybe put in play again. There's the the Welder. So they're going to get this turn one knockout almost certainly here on our Emolga. Um, yeah, he's just gone. There's no way he's surviving this one. Goodbye, Emolga. We do have that fourth Emolga in the deck, which is super nice. They can go Emolga and then Pikachu, Pikachu. And we'll be able to Snuggy Generator for the full uh, full five energy there on the next turn. And yeah, this is what we're kind of afraid of. That turn one knockout is a little bit rough for us to deal with. Um, but it should be fine. It should be fine. Gotta go ahead and send up a Molga here. Draw E Power, Nose of Gathering, grab a Molga, and then we're gonna get Pikachu, Pikachu, retreat. Um, and I'm thinking about attacking. I'll probably build analysis. Yeah, I'll probably build. I'm thinking about maybe attacking first, thinning out the deck a little bit more. Um, but it's fine. We took, looks like we prized the Pikachu, which is not good, and a Raichu. Should be fine. Yeah, build analysis, some options. Bills and Rosa, I think is the best things to grab here. And then, yes, yeah, Snuggly Generator. 
get five of those out. One, two, three, four, five. Then we got three attacks in a row, and then we have to go into Bolton after that. Yeah, I feel like this matchup is generally overall favorite, unless they get this turn one. If we go first, they get this turn one attack. Maybe it almost makes me think that maybe we should just choose to go second with uh, the Nuzzle Duck. I guess I haven't truly decided yet on how I feel about that, but maybe we should just go second as, uh, as Nuzzle. I do like going second. I do almost prefer wanting to go second. Um, it feels like it does give you an advantage overall. Um, or it feels like it gives you an advantage overall in in games. Like be, playing a deck that chooses to go second always feels really nice. I don't know. All right, here comes the circus. Good goodbye, Pachirisu. That's fine. We don't need a ton of energy to take knockouts in this matchup. Uh, and they whiffed the two energy on this Blissephalon, so they can't even um, knock out next turn, can they? Uh, without another welder and they're already down to welder so this is where we might be able to already start making that that comeback here so you can keep thinning out the deck i am gonna rosa because i do want to attach for a turn i do believe i have an energy in here yeah so here we go i'm gonna rosa get the basic energy get the i don't know coco prism uh basic energy and we could get another rosa could get the boss's orders that's a really cool good one to have around um to chase those. Yeah, let's go with the boss's orders here to chase the two prize Pokemon like the Zacian um, or Corio. Especially because they, they could definitely put down Zacian next turn. I wouldn't be super surprised if they put down Zacian next turn. How many basic energy do we have in here? Just one. Okay. Bench Pikachu. Attach another one. And just swing. Save the e stamp for later. Yeah, powerful spark. Knockout. 120 exactly. One on each of the dudes. There's a prize card to work with. It is a Volkner. Could use that next turn. Get another basic energy out of the, out of the uh, deck. Yeah, I wouldn't be too surprised if they do play the Zacian if Zacian came down. So we want the, we want to use boss's orders immediately um, next turn because we want to quite be able to get the knockout. But just having it in hand and getting it ready to go to take those, to take that knockout on a two prize Pokemon is a big deal. Um, all right, two welders down. There goes the second boss's orders from. They're heavy in the boss's orders in the Baby Blounds deck. I'm not a huge fan of the boss's orders in Baby Blounds because you can't welder and boss's orders in the same turn. You could play Surge. You could do it with Surge. That's one way to pull off the combo. All right, here comes that welder. All right, they did have this third welder here. Um, still need three energy to back up the the two energy um, on this, though. They need three more energy here. So Fire Crystal works for them. They also need a way to switch Jirachi, though, as well. Uh, there's a Quick Ball Grab. There's the escape board art, so it looks like they'll probably be cool. Ooh, there's an Absol. Gotta remember that guy's in play and have to play around that. Here comes an ordinary rod. Get some fire back as well, I assume. Three card hand. What are they gonna do with it here? Are they might put the Denny in play here? They might yeah, it looks like they yeah, they have to Denny change. So that's super good for us. Um, we're gonna knock out that little guy later on. Uh for sure for some extra prize cards. Yeah. Alright, alright, alright. There's two prize cards, but they are up an extra prize card here. So even when we knock out this, we won't be able to actually win the game just on that knockout. But they are running out of welders here. Only one welder left. Um, and it's getting increasingly harder and harder for them every turn to take a knockout. We are only have three. Oh, we do only have three access to three right to three right choose, though. There is a right choose prize um, in the deck as well. So I mean, we're not in that ridiculously good of a spot ourselves. Uh, but yeah, here comes that uh, fireball circus. They got all the energy for it. Take the knockout on my Raichu. Send up a Raichu. Currently don't have enough energy to take a knockout yet, but we can fix that with the Volkner for the turn to get an energy. So we top deck here. Bill's analysis. Could play an E-Power, but I want to save those to take the big knockouts should they come up like on the big blown if they decide to use that to wall for a turn because we don't have a ton of energy in play right here. We could just pop the Coco Prism as well. Let's start with the uh, Nuzzle Gathering. Get a Pachirisu. And then I'm going to Quick Ball away the Pachirisu. Thin out that Bolton. Get him out of the deck. There is East Witch. There is Thunder Mountain. Okay. There is Energy as well. I don't really have anything good to attach to right here, but I think I'm just going to go with the Volkner. Play anyways. Get ourselves the Energy and the East Switch probably because we do have that Boss's Orders already in hand. Yeah, let's go with these two. Gonna evolve to this right here, then I'll attach one of the Amolgas to get this knockout here. And next turn is the turn that we want to play the reset stamp, probably. Um, when we'll see for sure what happens, but it feels like that's gonna be the turn where we want to play the reset stamp, I think. Uh, we did want access to Thunder Mountain as well to bump this heat factory, so we could go for like a Bill's Analysis plus, plus stamp play, try and find. We could also Bill's Analysis this turn instead of Vulcan to try and find Rosa, and then we could have got Rosa into that 
uh, Thunder Mountain. There's a second two prize Pokemon on the bench. All right, so now our game plan can actually just be uh, knock out Oracorio, knock out Dene. Uh, we can stamp next turn, knock out the Oracorio. We don't have the Great Catcher. Oh, we could Great Catcher this guy afterwards as well, though. All right, so we do have, yeah, we have some options. We could actually Volkner for the Great Catcher here as well. It would help us thin out the deck. Um, probably going to go that route. Probably going to go that route. They did get their last welder there. All right, the baby blonde's coming in. They're probably going to get the knockout. I guess the only thing I'm afraid of here is a reset stamp um, from my opponent, which they could have. They could definitely have a reset stamp themselves. Um, but yeah, we're looking at Volkner, Great Catcher, knockout Oracorio, play the reset stamp, um, and then go from there. Their boss's orders are down, but they could play something like a Mewtwo to recover it, so I don't really want to bench the Bolton yet, I don't think, although we do need to get energy on it. Um at some point mm, we should be able to get a, we'll get an energy with the volkner though we should be good we should be good all right here we go they got the knockout almost for sure only thing left would be do they have a reset stamp um another fire crystal i mean knocking out the active would be pretty they're down for welder they haven't found their pal pad if they play it um down to what two fire crystal i think three fire crystal now let's see yeah three fire crystal now i mean knocking out the active plus reset stamp would be pretty effective as well um, but it doesn't win us the game if they just draw into another plan to knock out into a burst GX. So definitely just want to go with right to knock out the Oracorio, I think. There's the Thunder Mountain. That is literally the perfect top deck. All right. Volkner here. Get the Great Catcher. Get the Lightning Energy. Gonna go Thunder Mountain. Reset Stamp. And we're doing currently doing 100... Um, I could set up the Bolton. The Bolton might be safe here to set up. It would need a lot to knock him out, but it is possible they get it. Um, I have E-Switch. Are they out of stadiums here? They might be. They actually probably are. I have the E-Switch. Getting to an Light Energy would be my concern to actually be able to attack with Bolton on the following turn if they knock out our Raichu, which they would only need a Crystal. Um, so this guy comes down for sure. So I think I should just bench the Bolton at this point. Yeah, just to be safe. I, it's unlikely that they are able to knock it out so i'm just gonna go with it uh great catcher here get rid of the pachirisu and the e-switch i think at this point we don't need because we got two on the bolton already uh let's get rid of the other bolton though bring up the oracorio and we're doing a hundred we need one e-power right 100 now 160 190 powerful spark for the knockout on the oracorio and then we got the boss's order knock out the Dene on the next turn yeah and this is how we win the match we take advantage of those two prize pokemon they almost always have to put at least one of them in play um and our opponent got ahead on the prize exchange because they had that turn one welder which they don't always have um but when some they sometimes do have it and uh they get that first knockout so they were up an extra prize card on us because we had to you know nuzzly gathering obviously on our first attacking turn um and now it's going to come down to they have a third boss's orders uh in their hand they're going with the big blown here. So I think they're hoping we just can't move our Raichu. But our Raichu currently almost knocks the blown out. Yeah, we can. Yeah, it looks like it was probably their only play to go with. But yeah, we can just go E Power, attach, uh, powerful spark, knock out the blown. So yeah, not going to work out for them this time with this blown play. They even got the energy out of the prize card. We got attach, E Power, uh, powerful spark, back to back on those two prize knockouts. And there we go. Get this last up here with the nuzzle. I hope you guys enjoyed the game. If you did, give the video a like. If you enjoyed the content, be sure to subscribe. Have a good day. Thanks for watching, and peace.